Okay. As opposed to parody. You know, parody okay. goodness. <laughs> of course, puns are lost <laughs> on the kitty today. Hello, Tubes. Lord Crocus Squirrel here with the lovely kitty. Hello. I'm lovely kitty and I'm lost. Of course, she's lost. And we are going to check out a game that's actually been around for a little bit. It's kind of a little roguelike -y adventure pro thing. Uh, a little roguelike -y, dungeon -y wonder about game called... Tangle Leap. Da -da -da -da. Impact Gameworks. Let me just move this cursor here because I don't think I'm going to need it. I did actually check a few things originally, but I don't actually have the ability to deal with this audio directly. So let me just go ahead and actually, you know what? I'm not even going to do that. Actually, yes, I am. I'm going to do it this way. I said, uh, do the thing. And I only want this. Just like so. That'll take care of it. There we go. Alright. So we don't actually have a continue because of reasons. Okay. We all have a special connection to this world, a bond with nature we call the touch. Well, okay. The touch. The touch. Subterranean forests that are verdant. I want to see how that works. Ooh. Spiffy. Uh huh. Oh, really? An ever changing labyrinth that heads upward to a world no one has ever seen. She's never felt the touch. He, she, it has never felt the touch, but we're going. Permadeath. Uh-huh. Now we're going to go with the, uh, I don't know what kind of, okay, fine, we'll just do that. Ooh. And we have classes just like the old, all the old roguelike games. Hunter, a gambler. Mid-range fighter with magic and tech. Okay. Mm -hmm. Soul keeper. That's a beta one. Let's see. Okay. Odoka. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, nope. There we go. We'll take that one because reasons. Uh, right. Start with that one for sure. from enemies. So this is actually setting up to be a lot like uh, the, a lot like Rogue and some other, and, and others similar to it. Curse of Yendor. And we've got kind of the Okay. Today all the pieces fall into place. The sad part is I'm actually going to have to watch. I'm actually going to have to use uh, XSplit to do this. Uh, 
Okay. You and all the other... <laughs> okay. Take care of this later. I don't know how much I don't even know how much crit she's got. So, you know, she's got loads of magic power, some health, some stamina, and I don't know if we have even. Okay. Okay. Cost one hundred. We've got two hundred and fifty at the moment. Oh wow. Okay. Uh, sure. Wild horse. I can turn, lunge, lunge to a nearby enemy with a graceful fierce attack, or I can just yeah, let's do this uh, and this one and this one, which is probably what you were supposed to do with it anyway. Okay. Oh well, fine. Be that way. Oh no no. no. We want to do. Oh wow, recipe. Okay, we actually have. There we go. Consumables, a flame cocktail. Uh, kitty. Hello, kitty. Where's the kitty? Is she in there someplace? Hello? Oh, well. He'll figure... She'll she'll get it worked out here a little bit. Right, so... Okay. Oh, you now I can hear you. All right, outstanding. <clears throat> so we actually know how much money we have on here. What do you mean? No. We got a thing called a flame cocktail. Oh, nope. Got to click you in the right spot. Get it? There you go. Uh, get a weapon. Get weapons. All right. Let's get our. Let's let's go on. Uh. We'll go off to the right and. Who the hell are you? All ready to scamper about the forest? Climbing tree? Yeah, okay. Okay. I suppose if you say so, dude. He looks like a frog. What is this? Nobody knows what that does. The monster corral. We don't have any monsters, so we'll come back here later. Right. We'll actually ask more. We'll ask. I can't plant a tree yet. I don't have anything to plant. <laughs> okay. Don't have don't have any plants. No weeds to to put to put in. Actually, this is the direction we were supposed to go. All right. Why are you so excited? I'll do my best. I'll, well, actually, I'm actually going to go back to this game. Ow, 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 ow. Right, I already know this part. Ooh, we got a little stamina boost while we're at. Shit, that hurt. Uh-huh. 
Ooh, extra gold. Ooh, it even gave me some bleed out. Woot, okay. Oh, I can't get out this way. Well, that's kind of not good. Hmm. How can you get out? Well, the only season I don't know. I can't. I can't backtrack. Artery critters and unsavory characters call the Follies home. Yeah, we definitely got that whole secret of mana thing here. I've been rooted. I'm stuck in the mud! <coughs> Stuckies in the muds. Okay, we actually have some settings now. We can turn the music down straight directly. And we can turn that. Yeah, we can turn that need to go back on. Okay, we're going to go ahead and hit the save equip because that'll just drop me back in where I want to go. Okay, if you've ever been if you've ever gone hunting for the for the amulet of Gendor, you will probably be right at home. Uh, Nethack slash Rogue. If you've ever gone hunting for the amulet of Gendor, you'll just you'll love this. It's the kind of game where it's the kind of game where the setup is very simple and you're going and you can just go batshit and die a lot. <laughs> die a lot, die very often, and some people are going, I I know I'm gonna get shit for using the adventure mode. Because what that's gonna do is that's gonna send if I get myself killed, it's gonna send me back to town with no JP. And without half of my, uh, without half my XP level, which would be fine. I don't actually care that much because I have to climb, the, I have to, I'd have to climb it all back up anyway. <coughs> but still, um, it's better than running all, it's better than getting to the very last floor and running into a thing that is going to be hard, that is going to be difficult to beat when you have no freaking hit points. You get all the way to the end of the game without dying, and then you get permadeath. Splat. Now, I think that would suck. How about you, Kitty? Yeah, not my kind of game. Yeah, well, it's a bro... It's a rogue. It's a roguelike, and that, that's fine. Uh, I think we've got a lot of roguelikes. Yeah, this I know. Is, this is not roguelite, and it never claims to be. It is actually a roguelike, very much like the original. So, uh, I think that's going to be it for this one. No, any commentary from the kitty? Um, no, not really. Uh, I just can say that it's actually, in terms of uh, visual part, it's actually cute. But uh, there is one tiny thing not I take much. issue with. Yeah. For a game in which the gender of the main character is not actually is not relevant, we have no male options. Not one. Not one. We have we we well, are. That that's... We have no male option. You might want to get on that, folks. Hell. Yeah, kill all men. Uh, not, the, not the best way to go with a game. Well, it's like, well, no, you've actually got male characters about. You just can't play one. Mm. And in this case, the story isn't, it doesn't actually center around a specific protagonist. So, guess mm. what? We should be able to play a male character if that's what we choose. All right. That's, well, of course, that's just my opinion. The social justice warriors may think I'm wrong. Um, and they're welcome to think that because I'm still not. She doesn't have, yeah. this, char this character doesn't have to be female. Doesn't have to be male. 
Therefore, the uh, therefore there should be a, there should at least be a theoretical option. I know there are a few reasons they might not want to, or might not have. Um, I'm kind of hoping that their politics is, isn't the reason. So uh, that's it for us. Uh, be safe. Be sane. And let's make games uh, not only fun, but uh, with choices again. Yeah.